coming out of UNLV. You didn't go to the 12th round. You fought your way into the league. What do you advise some of these guys who are going to be kind of borderline players? Let's go over the middle. Has a first down. Finds Ali Villanueva. A couple years ago, he was able to come in the night before. He wound up being the MVP of the game, being a high draft pick. So there have been players who have done it. Kafka tries to run for the first down, and he's got it. To an NFL starter at the quarterback spot. Kafka play action on third and ten. Buying some time. He fires one high and climbing the ladder. And making the catch is Alric Garnett from West Virginia out near midfield. Kafka to the sideline. Nice catch made by Blair White. And it looks like he has a first down. He does by a yard. Just 58 yards now for Blair White. Play action for Kafka. Deep one up the seam, and there's White again. First down into plus territory to the West 36 yard line. That's what quarterbacks like in the season. Play action. Kafka rolls wide open. He's got his tight end, Andrew Corliss. Another first down to the 25 yard line. Incomplete passes out of bounds, those types of things at will. Only one timeout left, and now Mike Kafka is with NFL clock rules in to run a two minute offense needing a touchdown. Well, you know, who steps up and makes a big play? NFL teams will watch this over and over again to get a feel. Kafka to the sideline, has Blair White right to midfield. Kafka on third and one. What a catch! I think Andrew Corliss pulled that in with a flag down as well. No flag down, so the clock is going to continue to roll. Kafka has to get his team set, and he'll spike it to preserve some time with 102 to go. Kafka to the sideline. Pulled in for a first down by Freddie Barnes. And he's out of bounds to stop the clock at the 28-yard line. That one gave the East another first down. Kafka looks for Barnes again. He's got it. Can he break a tackle? Well, at least he gets out of bounds. The next level, and the man you're stuck there is a number three. Kafka on second down, looks right, and he's got Barnes again. Boy, the ball just sticks to Freddie Barnes' fingers. 35 seconds to go. Got to get up and spike it. If they want to have the full complement of play calling options, you want to hold on to your timeout. And that's what Kafka wants at the 11-yard line. Spikes it, 23 seconds to go, still with a timeout. Second down from the 11. Kafka under pressure, somehow escapes the rush. Down to the five, Kafka down to the three yard line. And now you have to call your timeout. And Romeo Cornell about 30 yards and south out on the field, calling the timeout. Boy, you said Marty Schottenheimer wants to win it. I think Romeo Cornell feels the same. <laughs> the slot receiver's gonna run a quick out, and if he likes Freddie Barnes on the weak side, he'll pop it to him. Third down and one from the two. Kafka floats it, Carlos has it, touchdown. You know, it's about the Shriners Hospital, and then second, secondary, it's about the players going to the NFL. But boy, we've had two great games in a row. Look at this throw, the decision, you know, over the top of the, the linebacker Carter from UCLA, and Corliss gets the big touchdown with just six seconds remaining. Well, we had a slow start, but a good finish. <laughs> great touch on that throw by Kafka, and a great drive. Two minutes to get him down you guys mentioned the pro the project that Mike Kafka could be at the next level if someone wanted to take a chance. And I would think from a maturity standpoint, a decision-making standpoint, command of the offense, being only with these players for the past five or six days, to run the two-minute as effectively as he just did has to show some scouts something. I, I think absolutely. And, and, you know, it's interesting. We come into this game, Todd Reesing, Max Hall, uh, Daryl Clark, some of the bigger-name college quarterbacks. But Mike Kafka, who came on, as you talked about, just one full season as a starter. And, and I also think from the other side, you have Matt Nichols from Eastern Washington, two of the 
you know, relatively unknown. Certainly Nichols from Eastern Washington. I think they may be the best pro prospects of these quarterbacks, Brian. Yeah, I think so. I think a lot. I don't know if they have an invite to the to the combine later on uh, in this process, but the, those kinds of guys would really benefit from an opportunity to go up and, and compete. I mean, the combine is a competition. You're throwing the ball right next to the Colt McCoys and Sam Bradford. So to see them right next to these other quarterbacks would be huge for these quarterbacks. Kafka, Kafka is invited, and uh, Nichols has not yet been invited, but they always add three or four quarterbacks. They call them the extra arms at the end of the process. And after watching him throughout this week, you have to believe he's going to get the invite. Mike Kafka engineers the game-winning drive, and let's go down to Quinn Kesman. An NFL-like two-minute drill, game-winning drive. Mike, when, when you took the field under two minutes to go, uh, what was going through your mind? I mean, just uh, go out there and execute, get the ball down the field and score. I mean, that's our main, object main objective. Uh, how difficult was it for you coming out of the college game to play with the NFL two-minute rules? Uh, I thought it was fairly regular. I mean, the way we play at Northwestern, we're high tempo. I feel like we're always in the two-minute drill, so it's something that comes easy to me. What happened on the touchdown pass? Well, uh, the boy from Penn State made a great, great play. Double move, got him, and got the linebackers to bite down. And he made a great play on the catch and great protection out front. Those guys have been battling. We had a couple series where we didn't really, didn't really have anything going, but the guys held in there, fought up. He was covered fairly well on that play. You, you kind of trusted to put the ball. I up. trust him. He's a playmaker, man. He goes up and get the ball. He's been doing it all week in practice. So it's one of those things where you know what, go make a play, win the ball game for us, and congratulations to him. Thanks, Mike. Congratulations. Thank you, Thank you. Bob. All right, Quint, terrific job, and a congratulations out to Mike Kafka, Romeo Cornell, and the entire East team. They win the East-West Shrine game over the West 13-10. to 10.